now is that boat social development stand part of the schedule. Those of that opinion will say aye. To the contrary, no. The ayes have it. Members, the question now is that vote youth development stand part of the schedule. Those of that opinion will say aye. Contrary will say no. The no ayes have it. The question now is that vote fisheries stand part of the schedule. Mr Chairman. The Honourable Phil Heatley. Mr Chairman, you are well aware that uh, fisheries and aquaculture is a very important part of New Zealand's economy and a portfolio that I certainly uh, enjoy holding. Now, the economy uh, continues to be the government's major focus uh, and top priority for 2010. Uh, 2009 was all about uh, taking the rough edges off the recession, making sure that businesses could uh, continue and helping them as much as possible um, that we uh, possibly could to uh, see that happen, that employ employees were retained uh, and that the impacts of that worldwide recession uh, were not felt to the depth that it could have been perhaps if the previous government had been uh, in charge at that stage. Fortunately, um, they weren't, and I do feel that large sigh of relief from um, New Zealanders and my colleagues from the government side of the House. Now, aquaculture and fisheries, of course, are an important part of the economy, but aquaculturalists, marine farmers, want to do better. And I can uh, tell the House here today that uh, certainly the national government, um, the Maori uh, Party, um, the ACT uh, and United Future team want to see marine farmers do better. Marine farmers themselves have a goal of $1 billion uh, in export earnings uh, by 2020. Five, and we support that process. Now, previously the Labor government looked at aquaculture, felt that it was an industry that they wanted to support, so they introduced a moratorium. Because that's what you do. You've got an industry that you want to support. What would Stephen Joyce do? I don't think he'd introduce a moratorium. But that's what the Labor government decided they'd do because they wanted to back this industry. Second idea, the second idea, what they decided to do after introducing a moratorium, do you know what they decided to do? Because they, they want to back this industry. They extended it. <laughs> they did, they extended the moratorium. So first piece of legislation went through the House, was a moratorium. Second piece of legislation in agriculture, the Labor Party did, extend the moratorium. Because that's what you do. So having done that, um, they worked on it for a few years while the moratorium was in, in place, which meant no more aquaculture space um, was available for marine farmers uh, that the Labor government supported. Um, they put through the aquaculture reforms, which unfortunately prohibited aquaculture anywhere in New Zealand, like it was sort of, you know, nuclear war or something, unless a council had been through the process to say it was OK. In other words, you couldn't apply for... A, you couldn't put in a resource consent to marine farm unless it was in a specific area. Everywhere else, it was banned. Um, so we saw since 2004 no new marine farms created under the Labor government's uh, legislation for five years. Um, we've decided um, we're not going to be so helpful. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to allow marine farmers to apply for more marine farming space. They can put in consents. What's more, we've allowed them to farm fish. Sorry to interrupt the honourable Not member, but the time has come for me to leave the chair. This debate is suspended. I shall resume the chair at 7.30. Nice warming, huh?